Hello and welcome to this short snippet video with me, Adam Rose. In this video, we're just going to have a look at how you can use configurations within a sheet metal model to show the progressive bends in a flat pattern. It's a really simple and easy thing to set up, and it looks really effective within any drawings. It's also useful for communicating how the design was constructed. I've got this sheet metal model that I've constructed earlier on, and you'll see if I have a look at the flat pattern, we've got a variety of different bends there. I can expand the flat pattern out to show all the different bends within the model one by one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to progressively suppress these in my configurations in order to set up a design which will show the progressive states of a flat pattern. In my configuration manager, I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a whole load of new configurations. I'm going to group my bends into three groups. So I need three configurations. You'll notice that I've got the flat, flat pattern currently active because it makes it a lot easier for setting up these bent configurations. In order to start constructing the design, I'm going to go to my flat pattern, expand it, and I want to bring up a design table to help me build these configurations. All I do is just right click and configure feature in order to do that. That will bring up a table which will allow me to add other bends into it just by double clicking. And I can add any features into this if I wanted to. So now that I've constructed the table, I can go ahead and suppress each of these bends in the different configurations that I've created. So I'm going to group them together. So in the first configuration, I'm just suppressing two of the bends. And I'll go through and do that one by one in all of the others. So I need to progressively add more bends into the configurations as I go through. In the third and final configuration, I'm going to suppress all of them apart from these two. And obviously we'll finish off with the folder state, which is the default. I'll apply those changes. And then I'm going to save the table so that we can access it later on if we need to. And I give it a name and then just click save. If I now go to my configuration manager, we can have a look at those different bends. So we start off with the flat pattern. And then we can go through each of the bends to see how the model was constructed. And we'd finish off with the folded default configuration. So I'll save changes there. And now I'm going to go through and use those configurations to construct a drawing. I created a drawing earlier on and I'm going to bring that up now. It's got a number of drawing views in here. These are just some drawing views that I've created along with the normal flat pattern that you would get in any drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the configurations that I've created so that I can see how the model was made. I've just added notes to be able to see the progress of the bends as it goes through. So in order to activate a different configuration in our design, in the drawing, we just select the view and drop down the drop down list to select the particular bend we want. So there's the first one. And I'm just going to do that as we go through each of them. Okay, so now you'll see we've got the progressive bends of the flat pattern shown until we get to the folded state on the right hand side. So you see it's really useful and easy way for us to be able to communicate with someone the way in which our model was constructed. So hopefully that's something you'll be able to take advantage of in the future. Thanks very much for watching.